Hello, Winabbers. My name is Jesse Meekum from Winab. It stands for You Need a Budget. This is another Whiteboard Wednesday today. I want to talk about the Jones Highlight Reel versus your happiness. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We call it Facebook envy or uh, social media envy. And there's been studies around it and there's some like like legitimate science there that talks about how your mood can change as you are exposed to positive messages or negative messages. And you can kind of feel, we're social creatures, you can feel maybe a little bit of envy as you see like the shot of your friend's tan and very good looking pedicured toes on a beach, you know, looking out over the ocean. Um, or if you see, uh, you know, the Eiffel Tower behind your friend as they're doing a selfie or something. Or maybe it's like this person just got this brand new, just shiny new car. Or um, all of the kids are zipping past on their brand new whatever. But you're all familiar with the idea of keeping up with the Joneses and how disastrous that can be because you start making the Joneses values your values. And the whole thing we try and do with budgeting is to make sure that your money lines up with your values. And if you're, you're valuing what the Joneses value, it's not accurate. But what's worse, what's worse, keeping up with the Joneses back in the day, before I was born, it used to mean like you look down the street and you're like, that's a fancy car. Man, what has so-and-so done to earn that fancy car? And the odds of, the, of that, uh, you know, that family financing the car was actually a lot lower back in the day. Uh, so you're like, God, that's crazy. What have they done? They got a promotion or a raise or whatever. But now the exposure that we have is so much higher as we're exposed to all sorts of, of activity. And we're basically exposed to the highlight reel of the Joneses. So it's not just your neighbors where, you know, you see their perfectly manicured lawn, that's one thing, but you also see your neighbor like slaving away every evening like with tweezers, trimming, and you're like, that guy's earned that lawn. Okay, I don't, I see all the work that goes into that lawn. I don't want that lawn. But if all you ever do is see perfectly photographed with the perfect filter photos of your neighbor's lawn and you never see the work that goes into the lawn with the tweezers, you start to get this really jaded, skewed perception of reality. And that's what happens with, with money. That's why I want to invent like what they've got going on with those glasses that are supposed to like take videos all, all over the place from uh, Snap. Was that it? The new, the snap renamed from Snapchat. Anyway, I want, I want this little hologram that pops up above your head that tells everyone your financial status, like a monster in World of Warcraft or something. Like, so you just drive by, you drive by the farmer that's sitting on his tractor, because this is a romantic idea for me, sitting on his tractor driving 15 miles an hour down a rural road. You see that guy's financial meter and it's bursting because the guy's been living like the millionaire next door. And then you see the guy go around him in the BMW 3 Series, I'm stereotyping typing right now and you see that guy and it's like red and negative and bad that's what I want to invent and mandate that everyone wear how would that correct things but back to the task at hand a little bit of a tangent the amount of exposure to the highlight reel because we're dealing with all this these social tools now is directly or I guess indirectly correlated with your contentment with your happiness I don't know how to fix that. I'm not saying get off Facebook, or if you are on Facebook, find the YNAB group and follow along. But I'm not saying get off that or don't follow Twitter or uh, you know, don't be friends with your neighbors, but we, just, we have to be aware of the fact that we are just seeing the highlight reel for people when it comes to their finances. And that doesn't tell the whole story, and that can breed this feeling of discontentment. And money at the end of the day and budgeting, when you line up the values with what your money's actually doing, you do feel content. So if your values start to slip to follow the highlight reel of the values of the Joneses, that gap there is what causes the issues. We're all subject, you know, subjected to it. Just be aware of it and consider this maybe a public service announcement. I will see you guys next week.